keep it simple. A simple life is a beautiful life. Hello, decided to do another video about pollination because recently uh, I had an inquiry from our shops in Lazada and Shopee called the SR Button Wall. Uh, the customer wanted to know how to do pollination. So um, there's few things that you can use or you can find at home uh, that you can use for pollination. Coincidentally, today I have two similar plants, Conophytum Louisa, and uh, this is good for pollination. If you do not have two similar Conophytum plants, for instance, uh, you can still do pollination uh, eventually if it's successful it will be a hybrid between the two breeds that you do your pollination with uh, otherwise uh, normally people will suggest that you do pollination between two similar plants uh, so coincidentally like I said I have two here similar species the Louisa uh, I have few things here that you could use Number one, I have this, uh, what do you call it? It's like a mini cotton bud, but it's not used for cotton bud, mainly to clean other things. You could find it on any of the online platform that comes in a box of hundreds or, you know, 50. You can buy this. Yeah, it's a long, long one, but it has a very small button at the end there. Hang on, let me see if it's it will zoom in or not. One thing about cameras, they're too intelligent. They're not zooming in. Nevertheless, I'm sure you know how it looks like. Next is Perhaps clearing these two plants away will help. I'll try again. Yeah. It's not it's focusing on my hand. Well, I give up. <laughs> Next one is, uh, you know, go to your kid's room and find a watercolor brush. The one I'm using is like this. It's not zooming. The one I'm using is like this. Really, really fine. I'm not the thick one. You can see how it is here. Okay, so I'll I'll use this too. Sometimes it depends where am I. <laughs> whichever I can find around. Last but not least, uh, I have something like a hair. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If you have uh, to do this, really you have, you have nothing like this that is suitable to do uh, pollination. You have to pull one strain of your hair and then use it for pollination. This, this is not my hair, but it looks like a hair. Uh, it's a, a very fine, very fine, very, very, very fine uh, brush. Yeah. So why I put the sticker is that, you know, so that I could find it uh, among the uh, flower pots that I have. If I don't put this sticker, most probably someone will think it's a hair and throw it away even myself would do so sometimes uh, if I forget so I put a sticker so I know this is another tool for my pollination now let's try one of it how do you pollinate uh, flowers uh, that is blooming what you need to do is do not uh, pollinate them uh, when it's only the first day or so when they start blooming. You can do it on the second, third day would be best uh, to do the pollination. You need to dig real deep in, yeah, not, not just like that. Here. 
way deep in. Okay. Then the next thing you do take this brush, go to the second plan, sorry. Uh, and then brush it deep, deep in. So with this Pollination should take place. Then use that same brush, go back to your first plan. Do it here. Or do it here. Yeah, pollinate here. Okay. Um, how do you know whether uh, it is a successful pollination or not? Uh, you will see after pollination, it will generate a uh, seed pot like this. You see seed pots like this? Yeah, this is a successful pollination. By the way, this is a fissiform hybrid. How long will it take for you to uh, be able to take the seed pot and you know do your seedling plantings? Um, I would say a few months, sometimes one year. So what you need to look is the seed pot needs to be completely dry. Just look from the side, yeah, completely dry. And when you want to pull it out, it's easy. That's considered a successful pollination, and it, it is ready for you to do any seedling planting with the seeds available. Uh, if you want to know how to remove the seeds uh, because it's so tiny, uh, do look up uh, for my YouTube. I think I did a video about how to remove seeds from seed pots. So you can go look up for that. And this is a successful pollination. Uh, do not see this and then immediately uh, take out the seed pot yeah? because it takes a few months like I said to sometimes a year especially mau honey it takes about a year yeah, to have the seed pot ripe and all that uh, so that you could use uh, the seeds for your planting uh, really it takes a long time depending the type of plant and again the ambience and whatever we are providing them so if you see uh, this you have successfully pollinated your pun i hope you enjoy my youtube signing off i'm susan here from just keep it simple do visit our shops uh, in malaysia shopee or lazada called sr button have a nice day See you soon. Bye.